Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the five things that I wish I knew as a female computer engineer. So let's get started. Okay, so when I first decided to major in computer engineering, I actually had no idea what the heck it was. Um, I knew kind of the gist of it because my dad was an electrical engineer, so I did have some exposure to what it was but I didn't actually do any sort of work with it. I've never actually done any sort of like engineering projects or anything that involved the courses that you have to take for that major. Although once I started my first semester as a computer engineer, um, there were a couple of things that I wish I would have known beforehand that I think would have helped a lot in terms of like how well I performed or make me more comfortable in the environment. So the one thing I would say is I didn't know anyone and I wish that I would have like branched out more. Um, I was very nervous about the courses and the workload and everything that involved that because it felt like I didn't know what I needed to do or what I needed to prepare for because I didn't even know what kind of work was going to be involved. Um, so that's where number one would probably be I wish that I knew someone who had taken these courses previously that I had branched out and talked to others who had already taken the course, or at the very least talked to the professor or the TA and got their input on what the course was like. That way I could actually prepare myself and know what I need to study on in terms of like exams or what I would need to work on and what I need to focus on what the professor is looking for. So that's one thing that I wish I would have known. Next thing I would have liked to have known is that when you major or you decide to major in a specific field that you should stick with it and you need to stick with it. Um, I didn't know that it would affect me in terms of like the courses I had originally chosen to major in this like STEM field. It was like a generic area where you just take the basic courses for all STEM majors, you know, science, technology, um, engineering and mathematics. And then from there, you would decide what you wanted to actually major in. And at first they were saying like, this was okay because you had the chance to actually look around and you have options and you could decide which one you wanted to major and you weren't just like locked and loaded in like one specific field such as math or such as science and then that was it. And if you wanted to change your major, you would have to take a bunch of courses again and it would just put you back like a year. Um, so, I mean, at the time it was like, yeah, okay, that sounds like a great idea, but it ended up, I think, hurting me in the long run because I ended up going for engineering and I still had to take courses that were uh, for engineering that I didn't take the first semester or the second semester because I was in that, you know, generic STEM field major, whatever that's supposed to be. I didn't take the introductory courses for engineering. So I had to take those courses again. And because of that, I also had to take like a programming course an introductory to programming that what I would have taken um, the first semester, but I didn't. So I had to take it like the third semester when I was a sophomore. So I was like kind of falling behind. And because like the courses such as programming and math, they all build on each other. You would have to take one course and have you know a bunch of prerequisites so that you could take the next course. Um, and it was just a real struggle because there were multiple semesters where I had to take like 16, 18 credit hours just to be able to graduate with my class, you know, from 2015 to 2019. And luckily at the time, I didn't have to work a full-time job. So I had the time to actually focus on school and to take more courses. Even then it was um, very stressful and it was a lot of work. So if you're someone who works full time or you have another job, another part-time job or uh, some other commitments or responsibilities, taking that course load, like 21 credit hours, 18 credit hours, it's just, I don't think it's doable, especially with engineering. Um, it's just very, you would be very, very strung out and I don't think you would perform well in terms of the, like, the grades that you would get. And I think that that's, you know, more important than um, trying to get as many classes as you can in a short amount of time, you know, and try to catch up. Uh, but yeah, that's that was one thing that I wish I would have known that um, if you decide to major in something, stick to it. And that if you change it, you're most likely going to have to graduate a year or two later or go through a whole bunch of hell, literal hell. The next thing that I wish I would have known as a computer engineer is that 
the other students in your course or in my course are just in the same position I'm in. We're all just trying to learn and understand the material and that they're no smarter than me and I'm no smarter than them. We're all at the same level. So even though it may seem like it's very intimidating, especially since being a female, there's a lot of males in the classroom, try not to overthink it because it's very easy to do and that they're there to learn just like you. If you're ever feeling intimidated or you're feeling um, like you won't pass the class or you're worried that the professor is going to fail you or anything like that, um, just keep that in mind that you guys are all just trying to learn and that you're all trying to pass the class. The next thing I wish I've known as a female computer engineer are the different uh, degree options that my university has in terms of master's degree or PhD degrees. Um, there was a time where I thought I would get a bachelor's degree and then towards I think junior year, senior year, I decided to get my master's because it would help me get a higher paying entry level job. However, I didn't decide this until like I think first semester of senior year. And I had learned that there was this program called a four plus one program where I could take undergraduate courses and they could count as credit towards my graduate courses. And in that case, I can graduate in one year with a master's degree instead of the standard two years. So I didn't know this and I could have applied, um, I think first semester or second semester of my junior year, those credits and those courses that were shared credits could transfer into my graduate degree. Um, however, I didn't know this, so I missed out on a semester of courses that could have been transferred over. So because of that, I now have to take an extra course right now, um, 10 credits instead of the seven that I would have taken. Um, and that's just one thing that I wish I would have known uh, of the different options that I had and also planning out what I decided to do, like not just go for my bachelor's, but um, plan to go for my master's earlier on, like freshman year or sophomore year. The other thing I wish I knew as a female computer engineer is that uh, the professors are there to help you. They aren't there to actually fail you unless they're, you know, those major courses such as the regular, you know, 100 level courses where they're just trying to pick out those students who aren't being serious and they are giving just busy work as well as, um, you know, having to be there on time, like they count attendance or things like that, so that they'll weed out those who aren't actually being serious about getting a bachelor's degree. And that other than those courses, the professors are there to help you and also you're paying them to teach you. So if you go up to them and ask them a question, you shouldn't feel bad about that. You shouldn't feel like you're um, getting on their nerves or you're taking away their time because you're paying them you're paying for the course, so that means you're paying for the professor to teach you this material. So you go and ask them a question, you shouldn't feel bad about that. Um, and they are the ones that should be teaching you how to do it. They're the ones who should be teaching you how to learn the material and they should be the ones feeling, you know, like they're taking up your time. They don't, they shouldn't feel like uh, you're a nuisance or they shouldn't feel like you're bothering them. So that's one thing I wish I would have known is that the professors are there to help you and that I. At the time, I didn't really go to professors. I didn't go and talk to them or ask them questions because I was worried about A, they would think I was dumb or B, you know, I was just wasting their time. So yeah, I just wish I would have known that. So those are some things that I wish I would have known as a female computer engineer. If you like this video and you found it kind of informative, useful, um, helpful in any sort of way, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of this and thanks for watching. Bye.